Here, have a banana. <laughs> banana. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga! <laughs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh huh. Unga! Unga! Uh, gorilla! On second thoughts, you look more like a chimp. What on earth are we talking about? Shanga Uni Unga Gorilla I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga Unga Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. Hey, a talking gorilla. Where? You, pal, you shouldn't even exist. Gee, I guess you're right. In that case, I'd better get out of here. How freaky. A phantom primate. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Welcome to Trader Bob's 24-hour general store and authentic native village playground. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. Hello, what are you looking at? Did you hear me, big guy? Do you come from around here? Where's the Pygmy Village? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. Sorry, I don't understand. Can you speak English? I beg your pardon? I don't speak pig. Goodbye. Ah, 
Ah, the local reading room. There's some graffiti on the door. Kilroy was here. That doesn't seem to work. He's asleep. We accept MasterCard and Visa. We accept MasterCard and Visa. It's Trader Bob's 24-hour convenience store sign. Hi, I'm Joe King. Sorry, I don't understand. Can you speak English? I beg your pardon? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. Squawk! So we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King. Joe King. Pilot for hire. Well, Joe. Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? I'm a pilot for hire, not a detective. And I'm the owner of an authentic native village and 24-hour convenience store. Sometimes we gotta do things that we never planned on doing. Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's a lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floda on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. It's a self-powered model, though it looks more like a bug exterminator's kit. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son, and I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. It's another Faye Russell calendar. I'm sick of them. Neat. I wonder if the tank was full of goldfish this morning. It's empty. 
That's right, son. A new supply of beef jerky should be through any day now. I don't touch the stuff. It gives me gas. Hmm. It's one of those Swedish wildlife films. Who'd want to wear mouse ears on their head? Yuck! Aniseed balls. Just my luck. It's out of order. Great German composers. Elevator Muzak collection. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha infested waters. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They are not for sale. Sorry. Hi there. <whistles> Pieces of me! Pieces of me! Ah. Polly want a tracker? Ah, the name's Wedgwood. Quack! Bozo! Who's a pretty boy then? Fuck! Not you, that's for sure. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Ah, ah, 15 men on a dead man's chest. Squaw! Ah, ah. I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Ah, wise guy, eh? Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. Is hairstyling a family tradition? Sort of. My great-grandfather used to take a little off the top, if you know what I mean, until he ran out of customers. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight, and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh, it's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. And I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? If I find some perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to do that. But I could trade you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks grammar is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. Thanks for your time. That's okay. Gross! I think they're full of castor oil. Has there been any success in finding the crystal skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. 
and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world! <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hello, Joe. Where's Faye? I told you to look after her. Gee, uh, sorry, Joe, but she just upped and left. Muttered something about going for help. Why didn't you stop her? I tried really hard to stop her, honest. But she wouldn't listen to me. Did you tell her about the wild animals? Uh-huh, but that didn't help one bit. She sure is one determined dame. Which way did she go? She headed off toward the pinnacle. How long ago did she leave? Gee, I think it was about an hour ago. No, maybe it was two hours. Or was it a half an hour? You know, I should have brought my Commander Rocket watch. I better go find her. Uh, I'll stay here in case she comes back. That'd certainly brighten up any girl's day. I've put my arm in piranha-infested waters enough times for one day. That doesn't seem to work. He doesn't look too happy. Nice doggy. All I want to do is walk past you. What a cute doggy. I won't hurt you. Are you hungry? Thanks for the talk. Easy boy. I'll uh, just be on my way. 
They got him trained well. Mmm, it's full of sweet nectar. Mmm, it's full of sweet nectar. These mannequins are wearing lederhosen. It looks like some sort of door lock. Hey you! Hold it right there! You can't just wander where you want to. What are you doing here? I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. What's that on your desk? An alarm clock? Har, har, har. You're a real comedian. That phone happens to be out of order, and the repairman isn't due for another day. I'm lost, and I was hoping you could help me. What does this look like? An information bureau? If you want help, go talk to the fat guy at the convenience store. I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah. Uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you, anyway? Are you the fumigator? Yes, ma'am. I'm the fumigator. For security reasons, I need some proof that you are who you say you are. May I see your equipment? I left it in my car. Well, don't just stand there. Go get it. To be or not to be? That is the question. Leave my pencil alone. Okay. Just my luck. It's out of order. Excuse me. What do you want? I've come to fumigate the place. Oh yeah? Have you got your equipment with you? Darn, I forgot it again. Sorry, I can't let you in unless you have your equipment. That doesn't seem to work. Gone fishing. Back later. The ferryman. That's not a flag. It's a tea towel from the pirate ride at Disneyland. I'd rather leave it here.
Salvation? The small print says, Every Sunday with Jimmy and Mary Lou. It's hanging out over the ravine. Hello there. I don't think it's gonna talk to me. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud, and my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Are you guys professional explorers? Uh-huh. That's why we're wearing these spiffy safari jackets and neat pith helmets. Yes, they're quite nice. Gee, thanks. Our safari suits are fashionable, yet practical. And our pith helmets help create an air of professionalism. What are you looking for in this jungle? We're trying to find the legendary lost tribe of Amazon women. Why do you want to find a tribe of Amazons? We were previously captured by them. They took us to their secret Amazon fortress. And then they... they... I'd rather not say what they did. What did they do to you? Well, after they captured us, they used us for certain... services. The sort of services that only men can provide, if you know what I mean. No, I don't really know what you mean. You know, they made us do things that only men have the equipment for. What? Like fixing the thermostat and cutting the grass? Oh, I give up. Yes, they made us fix the thermostat, cut the grass, and take out the garbage. It was dreadful. Do you want to get revenge for being captured? No way. We want to be captured again. How did you get away? Did you escape? Are you kidding? We wanted to stay there. You see, I've got this embarrassing... rash. It's from the jungle heat, you know. They saw that and kicked us out. Where is your rash? Um, I'd rather not say. It's rather embarrassing. I'm willing to pay lots of money to get rid of it. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Joe. How's your rash? I've still got it. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Well, I'll keep an eye out for one. Thanks. Thanks for talking. See ya. Talk to you later. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip. Jungle Explorer and Comic Collector. What sort of things have you discovered? Well, my partner Bud and I have discovered the ancient wooden chicken of Talmaxa Quarter, the mystical toothpick of the great King Manaputu, and the sacred crown of the Sun King. I thought the sacred crown of the Sun King was unearthed last century. Yeah. 
but the Museum of Mexico lost it in their collection. We helped them find it again, which was no easy task. It took more than three days to look through 50 cardboard boxes. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket versus the Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. Do you actually collect comic books? Sure, but I also collect the other magazines, like Amazing Stories, Detective Murder Monthly, and National Geographic. You read National Geographic? Heck no! I just look at the pictures. What's the one you're reading all about? It's really exciting! Commander Rocket is battling the Chicago mob, but his rocket pack runs out of gas. He has to find some alternative fuel source. Does he find any new fuel? Of course he does. He always wins out in the end. But you'll have to read the comic to find out how. Do the mobsters kill him? No way. Commander Rocket always gets out of a tight scrape. He's my hero. How can he battle the mob? Is he a cop? Not quite. He's a vigilante with a rocket pack. But the cops always help him out. Thanks for the plot synopsis. That's okay. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Commander Rocket code. G-S-R-H-R-H-Z-H-V-X-I-V-G. N-V-H-H-Z-T-V. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This'll make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this'll be to your friend. Those shorts you have on are really swell. Where did you buy them? I don't know. My mommy buys all my clothes for me. I gotta go now. Goodbye! Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hid in the Model X-7 atomic brain tubes, and we'll let you go. Never! Leaping lizards! Professor Harbuckle was right! Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter, Stacy! Smash! Oh no! It's Commander Rocket! Get him, boys! Zap! Zap! Woof! What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits. My rocket pack is out of gas. Bleep, bleep. Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle. Bada, 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 bada. <laughs> That's very potent alcohol you have there. It just might work in my rocket pack. Hey, go easy with that stuff. It costs money. Blop, 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 blop. Eat land, rocket. Buta, 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 buta. Ping, ping. Buta, buta. Present, 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 present. He got away. Oh, rocket, you're such a dream. The American dream, ma'am. Well, what do you know? A loose page fell out of the comic book. It's from the Commander Rocket comic, and has a coupon clipped from it. There's some sort of blueprint on the back of it. If I put these two pieces of paper together, I can see the complete blueprint on the back. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas.
That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. I can't quite reach it. It looks like a rare green finned Amazon trout, probably. That water is really moving fast. Well, Sparky, I've been all over the jungle, and I finally found you a copy of Commander Rocket. Here. Thanks, Joe. Now, as a reward, you can give me one of your files. Uh, Joe? Yes? Someone's clipped a coupon from the back page. Yeah, so? Well, it's not exactly mint condition, is it? Sparky, it's just a comic book for crying out loud. But I'm a comic book collector. It has to be in mint condition. Otherwise, it's worthless. I don't believe this. No offense, Joe, but I might get a new copy when we get back home. You can keep this one. I don't want the stupid comic. I want a file. Oh, you can have that, too. Finally. Next time, you can get your own comics. It's one of Sparky's tools. Excuse me, Bob. What can I do for you? Would you have a phone I could use? Sorry, but the only phone in the village is broken. Could I have a look at it? I might be able to repair it. I don't think so. You see, the witch doctor tried fixing it already. She set fire to it to chase out any demons. It hasn't been the same since. Do you know anyone else that may have a phone? Floater, probably. When you're looking for the princess, see if you can find one. Nice shot. Did you decorate it yourself? I had help from Naomi over there. She's got a real knack for interior decorating. Does she live here? No, she lives in a house with her dad, the chief. She's very pretty. Uh-huh, she sure is. And before you go getting any ideas, I'd just like to say that she's my girlfriend. Do all the villagers look like her? No, not all of them. Some of them are men. Thanks for telling me about Naomi. That's okay. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? 
I'd like you to tell me more about Floda. Okay, what do you want to know? What makes you think Floda kidnapped Azura? Ever since Floda arrived, weird stuff's been happening. People have gone missing. Strange lights have appeared in the sky. And when I did my laundry this week, all my socks matched. What do you think Floda will do with Azura? I've heard rumors that they conduct experiments on people. Weird experiments. They may use her as a human guinea pig. So we've got to rescue her. What are Floda doing in the Amazon? They're supposed to be a lederhosen company, but I think they're up to no good. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? What sort of things do you sell? I sell all sorts of things. Some of them are only for special customers. What are you interested in? How do I get to be a special customer? I generally reward my long-term or really helpful customers with special status. If you want to be special, do something to impress me. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? Could you tell me more about Naomi? She's sweet, smart, and she's my girl. We're going out tonight, and I was hoping to give her some flowers, but I haven't had the chance to go out and get some. What sort of things do you sell? I sell all sorts of things. Some of them are only for special customers. What are you interested in? Do you have anything that will get rid of rashes? Sorry, but that's not my area of expertise. Try asking the witch doctor out front. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. I've got a flower here. I was thinking you might like to give it to Naomi. Thanks, but no thanks. Naomi likes flowers and all, but she's allergic to that particular type. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha infested waters. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They are not for sale. Sorry. Howdy, Bob. Hello again, Joe. I've got some questions that I'd like to ask. What do you want to know? What sort of things do I sell? Some of them are... What are you... Is that fish on your shelf for sale? Not anymore. We've had quite a few unhappy customers return it. Being a piranha, he tends to eat all the other fish in the tank. I think I'll browse. Let me know if you find something you like. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Joe. What can I do for you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Which merchandise in particular? I'm interested in that vacuum cleaner thingy. A lot of people mistake it for a pesticide pack, but it's definitely a vacuum cleaner. It's got a built-in battery and it's on sale for one day only. What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. 
there's nothing wrong with bowl cuts. I guess not, but I would like to try something different every now and again. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. I think I'll look around. Okay. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son, and I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. Have you learned to speak English yet? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. No thanks. I've grown attached to it. Have you learned to speak English yet? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. Hello again, Mr. Chatterbox. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. No way, it ain't Christmas yet. I have an idea. If I put the flower on this branch, it might lure him closer. Now to wait. Gee, I wonder what Joe is doing right now. Probably something exciting. That was painful. Boy, that sure looks weird. No way. What would I do if it answered me? Mmm, it's full of sweet nectar. It's too big to carry. I'll leave it here. I don't think I need that.
Hello. Hi, Joe. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have. I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Hello again. Howdy, Joe. How are things in this part of the jungle? Yeah, pretty quiet. Not much has happened since we last spoke. I see you got a new comic. Is it any good? It's terrific. It's the Commander Rocket Summer Special. It's got Commander Rocket fighting the evil Captain Atomic. Sorry, but I've only got one copy. That comic you gave me is really exciting. I'm glad you liked it. It's definitely one of my all-time favorite Commander Rocket stories. I like the bit where he saves the president. Huh? He doesn't save the president. You haven't read it, have you? No, I haven't. Well, you should read it. It has the first appearance of Stacy Harbuckle, the daughter of the guy who invented the pocket rocket. She's a dish. You don't get out much, do you? No, I have too many comics to read. It's not as good as Commander Rocket and Rio. That was a great story, but I think this one is better. The way he gets the rocket pack to work is genius. I gotta go. See you later. Hey, I know you, don't I? I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. What on earth are you supposed to be? I'm a vicious dinosaur. I'd stay back if I were you. I can be very dangerous. I know who you are. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. You can't eat me. Gorillas are vegetarians. Okay, you've got me. We did meet earlier. Now will you leave me alone? I've got to guard this log. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? Why are you wearing a pink dinosaur costume? Because my blue chicken costume is still at the dry cleaners. How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. You can tell me your secret. I won't repeat it. Sorry, buddy. I can't tell anyone. It's against the rules. Is there a reason why you're blocking my way? Uh-huh. It's revenge for the last time when you said I didn't exist and made me disappear. Nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Bye. Hello again. What is it this time? 
How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Would you disappear again if I said you don't exist? Maybe. But of course, you'd have to say that I don't exist. And you wouldn't really want to do that, would you? Sorry, pal. But you don't exist. Thanks a lot, bud. I had the strangest feeling of deja vu. Hey there, little fella. Watch it there, boy. That little fella has one main bite. Hey there, little fella. I wouldn't get too close to him. He hasn't had his shots yet. How adorable. He'd make a great pet. Oh, yeah? Do you know how much it costs to feed a monkey? You can have him. Don't listen to him. He's our favorite monkey, and he is staying right here. Hi, I'm Joe King. Howdy, boy. The name's Jimmy Cook. Welcome to our humble mission. It's our own little slice of heaven. Do you know where I could find a phone? Hmm, that's a tough one. The only place I can think of is the Flota Leader Hosen Factory. You can find them over beyond the pinnacle. Why do you have a mission in the Amazon jungle? Why not? It's just as good as any other place. The rent's cheap, weather's nice, and the place is brimming with natives who need spiritual guidance. Are you giving these monkeys guidance? Monkeys are people, too. They've got feelings. They have beliefs. So what if they've got IQs less than 50? We're used to that. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. Do the monkeys have names? Well, they sure do. This one here is called Bonzo. The one in the middle is Cheetah. And the one in the pirate hat's called Bubbles. What exactly is a sloth? A sloth is a tree-climbing edentate mammal found in Central and South America. They're slow-moving, hairy, and have little or no teeth. What do they eat if they have no teeth? Well, they eat stuff that doesn't require chewing. The species in this jungle has a particular liking for sweet nectar. I never thought sloths could be so interesting. I know what you mean. Once you begin studying them, you find it hard to stop. Truly one of God's finest creations. That sounds a lot like my grandfather. Your grandfather climbs trees? I think I know enough about sloths. You can never know enough. I've got some more animal questions. Sure thing. Fire away. Is it true that whales are actually big fish? Ha <laughs> ha. That's a common misconception. Whales aren't fish at all. They're actually aquatic lizards who annually migrate onto land to lay their eggs. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. Howdy, Jim. Hello again, Joe. Welcome back to our holy little hovel. This looks more like a zoo than a mission. Hey, I happen to like animals. In my spare time, I'm a zoologist. Last month, I studied sloths. This month, I'm studying monkeys. Are there any tigers in the Amazon? 
Or are they only found in Africa? Heavens no. There aren't any tigers here or in Africa. You'd have to go all the way to Asia to find a tiger, or at least the nearest zoo. Thanks for the lesson in zoology. No problem. I've got some more animal questions. Sure thing. Fire away. Does Mary Lou help you in your animal research? Nope, I'm afraid not. She's more concerned with manicuring than science. Nice talking to you. Oh, bless you, my son. Hi there. My name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. Oh, <laughs> very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies, but they ran away. Why did the pygmies run away? I don't know. I began singing when they suddenly upped and left. Listen. All things great and beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? <coughs> Believe me when I say you have a unique voice. Wow. Thank you. Well, I hope they come back soon. How did you talk to the pygmies? I just used my English to pygmy dictionary. Can I have a look at the dictionary? You know, I'd love to let you have a look, but it's the only one I have, and I can't risk losing it. I'll swap you for your dictionary. Hmm, what have you got to swap? Would you like another nail file? It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. Hmm. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll swap. Good. I'm glad we could come to some arrangement. So am I. Hello, Mary Lou. I just wanted to thank you for the pygmy dictionary. That's okay. I really appreciate my new nail file. Don't you ever get sick of living in this jungle? Not really. Jimmy and I used to live in Little Rock, Arkansas, but we got tired of the busy city life. This place makes for a quiet change. I had no idea that Arkansas was such a happening place. Compared to here, it is. I'm curious, why did you become a missionary? Jimmy and I have always liked to help people. In fact, we spent a good deal of our time in Arkansas working with the homeless. Particularly homeless raccoons. So why did you leave Arkansas to come here? Well, we reached a stage where we needed to move on, both spiritually and physically. Jimmy heard that folk were needed here to teach the natives. So that's when you decided to take up a missionary position? That's right. We packed up and moved in here, ready to educate the local pygmies. And we haven't looked back since. Isn't the nail file a bit big for you? Nonsense. It's just the right size. I've got long nails. I gotta go now. Goodbye, Joe. It's an English to Pygmy Translation Dictionary. It's an English to Pygmy Translation Dictionary. 